it sounds bad. It sounds bad, but anybody that's done anything in the music world knows that standard practices of business that he's going to just describe here so shout out to larry reed i'm thinking about having him on a channel if you guys want to see larry reed on channel let me know he does a lot of this stuff in the gospel black gospel arm of the christian internet and he posted this clip it says and this was uh, sent to us by kelly p one of our amazing moderators dante says to maverick city do the right thing mav got all these billboards up and ain't paid a lot of us our royalties now, now is it a lot of us or is it you or is it any royalties that's my first question and never sent my grammys to my house because they said i wasn't part of the group <laughs> <Eesh>. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Because this is so like, we don't like you after the fact, so we just go pretend like you never existed. Yikes. Like, you know, because he did some 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 sus stuff. Now it's like, we're just going to pretend like you were never a part. Dante Bo was one of the faces of Maverick City. Oh, yeah. You know, so this is crazy. All right, play, play the clip. I'm not asking for anything extra, just what's owed to me. I've written a lot of their catalog, hits on top of hits. Mm. Still didn't get a Grammy because... He said I wasn't a part of the group on paper, whatever. He wasn't part of the group on, on paper. paper. What that probably means is whatever his arrangement was, maybe he was signed to the label, maybe he was signed to a production deal, maybe he wasn't signed as a member of the group, even though he was clearly a part of the collective. This is where it gets real weird and wonky. With collectives. With collectives, for, for real, for real. Because it's, it's a lot of times not solid paperwork. And when you don't got solid paperwork, by paperwork I mean contracts, you're... Uh, unfortunately, opening yourself up for situations like this, not getting proper credit. A lot of artists don't do proper credit sh uh, split sheets, not getting proper compensation for your work. This is far too common in the music industry, far too common in the music industry. And and, and, and here's the punchline. You guys, you guys are going to think it's crazy. Christian world be worse a lot of times. Like the Christian music industry be worse. Now, I don't know what his arrangement was or what the paperwork said. To Maverick's defense, they may have been playing by the letter of the law of whatever it said in the contract. And, and legally speaking, he could just have a misunderstanding and, and they met their legal obligations to him from a contract standpoint, even though they may have been conversations and handshake agreements. Mm. See that I've sown, I know that God is going to bless me and I will reap a harvest. However, do the right thing. Take care of the people that have taken care of you. In Jesus' name. I, I, can you pull up anything about the, the, the royalty situation specifically? Because that's by far the most egregious thing in this situation is if they're not paying royalties out. Because from my understanding, Maverick City has a, a, a label deal through one of the major labels. How these things usually... How these things work can be one of two things. If you guys remember, in the case of Cash Money, Young Money, there was two different narratives. One narrative was that Universal was supposed to be paying everybody directly. But Universal told the artist on Young Money that they were sending the money to Cash Money and Cash Money was supposed to be paying everybody directly. But Birdman was really squandering the money. Who knows how it works? But a couple years ago, if you guys remember, Drake got caught up in this. Nicki Minaj got caught up in this. This is why Lil Wayne left Cash Money, right? It's because of how the business is set up. And so they were saying that like Wayne hadn't been paid in years because who is the money going to? Is it going to the under label? Is it going to Maverick City? Is it going to cash money? And then cash money is supposed to pay out the artist or is it supposed to be paid directly from the major label in Maverick City's, I don't know who the major label is. I don't know who the 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 the, 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 the top apparent company is in that situation. So I don't know, but it could be that they didn't recoup. It could be that, that but, but they should still be getting compensated in the royalties. Mav got all these billboards up and ain't paid a lot of us our royalties. So he's saying a lot of us. So he's not saying they didn't pay me my royalties. He's saying a lot of us. This, yeah. is, what, this is what Dante is claiming. Well, assuming he's in that group of us. Well, yeah, but yeah, yeah. they could just say he's not. Mm. Right? Yep. And never sent my Grammys to my house because they said I was never part of the group. Now, here's that second part is just foul. Y'all <laughs> just sloppy. Maverick, y'all yeah. got to do better. That's just sloppy. I, so do they have, do they have Grammys with... Dante Bo's name on it? No. Just like they chilling. have Grammys with Maverick City Music on it on songs that he was probably on or he wrote on. That's his claim. Yeah. And so, and so, like, do they, is it like a YouTube plaque where you can order another one for like your team members? I would, I would hope so. Yeah. Okay. I would hope so. Yeah. If YouTube letting us get extra <laughs> plaques, 
for context, when we got our 100,000 subscriber plaques on this channel and the Bless God channel, I was able to order additional plaques and have Zach's name on it and Chris, Chris's name on it so that the whole team can get plaques. If YouTube is allowing me to order additional plaques for folks that have worked on the channel, I'm pretty sure Maverick City can get an additional Grammy. The Grammy's got a system for it. Yeah, they got to have a system <laughs> for it so that yeah. folks can get their, you know, get, get their things. Now, the first part, I've got all these billboards up and ain't paid a lot of us our royalties. That's that I think is unhelpful. I think that first part's unhelpful on Dante's part. Because what does that mean? That's like a loose accusation. Some of us have royalties, some of us don't. Yeah. You gotta be specific. If they're not mm -hmm. paying you your royalties, then you 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 need to be specific and tell them you're not paying me my royalties. He probably what's happening is he probably isn't getting what he thinks he, it's worth. And that's why he's saying these things and being vague about it. Ah. But he's not actually seeing what the checks are. Or the checks aren't that much. That's what I mean. Yeah. Is that like he, he doesn't see what the checks are, so he thinks they're more. He's getting less. Yeah. And, and they like, probably got some legal entanglements with a bunch of writers on a song and a bunch of recouping costs and all the bills and whistles. And so he's getting the check, and it's probably a couple hundred dollars, a couple thousand dollars. And he's like, what's going on? We we did X number streams, not understanding the business side, that like them them checks aren't that big. Yeah, every, when you're when you're when you're a label signed to a major label and you have artists signed to you, you getting pennies on the on the, on the dollar. That's just the truth. But the Grammy thing, I think, is just a, as a matter of principle, I think is is just whack. Like I think they could have definitely uh, sent it, sent the man a Grammy and and avoided this embarrassment. This is what this is, this is how they have to divide royalties in, in the music <laughs> industry. <laughs> One of these little worship nights. Everybody got everybody got a got a. That's got, why got a your 2%. checks are so low because there's a hundred people on stage and on the recording. No, no, no. All those people aren't getting royalties. Those are those are those are hired guns. No, but that's definitely it's definitely that, now that uh, who knows how many people are writing on a song exactly and that playing was something. Yep. and that was the thing little... with a lot of Kanye records is there'd be a hundred writers on a song. Someone I remember who told the story. Someone told a story that. The delivery guy will come in and drop off food and he'll have on like leather pants because he's in L.A. And Kanye will like put on my leather black jeans on. He'll put in a song and give the delivery guy publishing on the record. You know, the producer's like so mad. So mad, the bro. He just gave away freaking another 3%, dude. Yeah. And so like all that stuff gets put up. So I would, I would venture off to say that the royalty thing is probably not what it seems but the grammy thing i think is just foul and i think it sucks how that whole situation went down i think that was a mutually messy situation between maverick city and dante and dante you know kind of dante kind of historically acts like he his hands are clean in this situation and, and his hands aren't clean in this situation like you posted nudes on instagram bro you know what i mean like you were, you were sloppy like you're sloppy and you're around some sloppy people that started a church and you know are affirming and all kinds of stuff so 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 both of these folks got 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 uh issues in this situation and this is just the overflow of creative people that become hyper successful without a ton of state stability in their character in my opinion and i don't know these guys like that but that's the way it seems i'm saying strictly the way it seems this is my off the cuff opinion based on what we're seeing uh what are these comments saying I could never be more disappointed than I am right now. <laughs> yeah. that I mean? yeah. Yo, that's that so is phenomenal. I want to see what Dante's comment is. Take care of all the people that have taken care of you. I didn't do this just for me. Do the right thing always. Yeah. That's yeah, man, funny. it's a super sad situation. I hope they can work it out. I think there's other stuff behind the scenes that I'm not going to speak on happening in in that, that are not public that are happening with both of these camps. And none of this surprises me. It's just a big mess. And I hope they they figure it out and get right with, with, with God and get right with each other. You know what I mean? Get right with each other. We see, according to the Bible, that prayer is extremely important in terms of us being transformed from the inside out when we get aligned with God's will. For the Christians watching this channel, I want you guys to implement these spiritual disciplines in your day-to-day -day life. And the only way I've been able to do this consistently is through writing down my prayers in a prayer journal that does a few things. One, it allows me to reflect and come to God humbly and ask Him to move on my behalf. And two, it allows me to document my prayers, which ultimately helped me remember the very things that I was praying for and see the hand of God tangibly in my life when He answers them. So I would urge you, consider writing down your prayers. It could be in a blank notebook. It could even be on your phone. Or you could check out the one I personally designed and used from my own quiet time and spiritual discipline that I think will be a huge blessing. It's the exact structure and system that I've used for years to pray and be more consistent in my spiritual disciplines. You can pick yours up today by clicking the link in the pinned comment below.
All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.